to development and to no ties up, sabi nga ni Aristotle. Okay. So, end up with Takiyo Kyo. Let's start. So, kunwari, estudyante ako, no? magpe-present din ako ng SWOT effects. So, for those who are absent or yung mga wala, just tell them. I will still upload. Don't worry. So this is a sample, a mock uh, presentation. So nandito yung contents. Good morning, classmates. Onwari ka klasin yung kon. Okay, sa kain na lang kayo sa kain. Kaya na magajak sa kain. Uh, I am John Michael Ong Bersosa. I am uh, just like you. I am 17 or 18 years old. So my topic for today is my own personal marketing plan using the SWOT effects. So teaser, no, sample only. So before I start with my own SWOT analysis, my favorite inspirational quotation is by Mahatma Gandhi. According to him, my life is my message. Or another interpretation is Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. So my life is my message. No need for any further explanation. So take note, no? Sa Haro and sa Zamboanga, we will listen. To this sample SWOT matrix, long test, presentation. No? This is a sample presentation only. There is no SWOT matrix in a civil engineering course because, unlike you, I am not an ESTRAN student when I, I was a technical student. So, this is a preview or sample on how a student similar to your age or especially an ADM student will have it would have done a SWOT matrix. This is also partially a reflection of your truly's life to whatever happened all those years ago. So this is my SWOT on the time warp on the year 2004 or 2005. 17, 17 to 18. May ibalang situation natin because you are preparing yourselves into college. Whereas I will I'm already in my freshman year at uh, that school. Huh? So before we begin, here is my five and ten year plans. Huh? So the executive summary. For the first five years, I will do my best to finish my bachelor in civil engineering within that span of time. And then pass the board exam in civil engineering and gain and obtain technical knowledge and wisdom in order to get hired immediately. Of course, as you all know, engineering and in your case, accounting will take at least five years or even more to finish. So by the time you are 23, you are just about to graduate and you will be taking up your CPD board at around age 24 to 25. For the next 10 years, the plan, my plan is to rise through the ranks in the company and get promoted as project in charge by accomplishing as many projects in a span of four to five years. So this is one way to get promoted, you know? not just as a cadet engineer or, in your case, an uh, entry-level accountant. You, know? you need to show your performance. And then study for a master's of science in construction engineering or a master in engineering in civil engineering or master of science in civil engineering. So set up my own construction firm within 10 years. No? Uh, actually, this is 5 and 15, no? so 23 to 32, 15 year plans yet. No? So set up my own construction firm or join a partnership. So, ito mga para ano na lang to, no? Find the love of my life and get married. So, who wants to establish a family? Of course, everyone does. And acquire real estate properties, assets. 
land does not depreciate but appreciates. Opportunity cost of my college education, competitive profile matrix. As an incoming college freshman, the following are my prioritized schools in order to have a bachelor's degree. So one is Mapua Institute of Technology, two is De La Salle University, and number three, which is blurred lang yung picture, is La Pamantasa ng Lunsod ng Manila or ELF. So why did I choose these three schools? So here is a comparison of your opportunity costs. Where should I study? Saan ba ako dapat pumasok pagdating ng college? If ever, natatanggapin nila ako. So school one, school two, school three. School one is Mapua, school two, La Salle, and school three is PNL. So you have to consider the location. How far is the school from your uh, residence? UP might be considered as one of the best schools, but it's very, very far. In my opinion, very far from me. So the tuition fee during that time, I'm not sure about the prices right now. Tuition fee per per year is 100,000 in Mapua, double that in La Salle, and Pamantasa na Lonsod ng Manila is quote unquote free for Manila residents. So I do not have to pay any tuition whatsoever. Academic terms. So you have three competing schools with three different academic terms. Mapua is quarter system. In contrast to the trimestral of De La Salle University and semestral, the traditional academic term or PLM. And what are my choices? Again, aside from the school, each school you have a different choice. So here are my three uh, priorities. First choice, second choice, third choice. So I forgot to add this one. Usually, if you take exams on your schools, merong three, two to three choices. So in La Salle, I actually applied for accountancy and even PLM. But, you know, and I also applied for business administration course, though in reality I did not, and psychology. So, the, the only common denominators that I chose, civil engineering as the top choice. Conclusion. So in your part, you will make your conclusion based on what you think is the best among the three. If you get accepted. So for me, while all three have their own sets of pros and cons, and I got accepted on all three. I chose to study at Mapua uh, and study civil engineering for going other the other two schools and other degrees uh, such as architecture, chemical engineering, accountancy, business administration, and psychology. The decision is high risk, high reward. Mahal din to, 100,000, pero dito libre. Sayang yung tuition. I acknowledge the fact that I may fail several subjects, if not worse, expelled. But finishing my course at Mapua will give me a period of opportunities. So I hope you're getting you know, the gist of why I'm making you do the swap matrix. Hindi naman, hindi naman po ako nagpapagawa ng swap matrix na wala lang, burloloy lang. You do not want to do the swap, I'll give you zero. Yun lang naman. Why that school? No? Why did you prefer to study? Why would you prefer to study at your own school? And that decree. No? Ito yung answer. This is the answer of my 17 or 18 year old self. I want to fulfill my childhood dream, either to become a, an engineer or an architect. No? Those are my reasonings. No? Walang basagan ng trip. No? Most Asian parents want their kids to be a doctor, lawyer, or, nar, or an architect. No? And nurse and IT are now on that same level. Pero nung time namin, Nurse and IT are trends. No? Pa Paangat pa lang sila. And this is marketing ploy. No? Uh, Nag-goyo rin kami. No? For me, at that time, there are two schools 
of engineering in the Philippines, mapuha and others. Of course, in reality, hindi naman to yun. All schools are, wala sa school yan, sa studyante. But at that time, this is my point of view. As a graduate of Mapua Free Engineering High School, it will be easier as I am already familiar with the culture. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-adjust from one school to another. So situation, ginamit ko rito for the personal SWOT is situation. But sa business, it will be industry. So situation for a civil engineering student or future graduate, here are my target markets for future uh, employment opportunities. You have government agencies, DPWH, PRC, and many more. Construction firms, so private, private agencies such as EEI, DMCI, MDC, Megawide, etc. Design and management firms such as Jose Aliling, Aromin NC, Arcadis, etc. So, sa inyo, try to identify what will be your career opportunities after graduating and finishing your chosen college degree. So, ito yung sa akin. Market needs for future civil engineer is to graduate no? as a civil engineer and preferably license. The primary goal of the company is to hire a reasonable cadet engineer or site engineer who can be trained by very talented mentors in handling projects. You have to replace your mentors, no? replace in the future, if not exceed them, or at least mapantayan mo man lang sila. On schedule and quality accomplishment, projects to be handled by a cadet engineer are subject to intense scrutiny, testing, benchmarks, quality control that shall confirm to industry and client standards. So, ganun din naman sa accountant. Iba lang yung wordings, but what are those? What is your on schedule and quality accomplishment? Implementation. Uh... This one might be more on the accounting cycle for accountants. And then other duties and responsibilities of an uh, entry-level accountant. So logistics and supply chain for my side. The engineer in charge shall provide and ensure that all deliverables shall be fulfilled. So, ewan ko bakit ko na ilagay pa na. So these are, ito ng 2015, these are some of the schools that are highly prioritized by the HR departments of companies. So, uh, nung time namin, wala pa tong article. But like I said, it's not about the school. It's about you as a representative, as an embodiment of the school. So, kada mali mo, apektado ang swelahan. So, what are my strengths? My 17-year-old self will say, I have analytical and technical skills. So, pag, pag mag-represent kayo, you should discuss it in detail. Pinakita ko lang dito. You can put it or not, pero sa akin, pinakita ko lang yung breakdown. Why did you say? Hindi mo pwede sabihin na ang strength ko ko is guapo ko. Pero hindi mo explain Basta guapo ko, sir, eh. You must explain very well why you have certain attributes that makes it your strength. So, example ko na lang si S1. Analytical and technical skills. No? The course will give, will have 10 mathematics subjects, 2 chemistry, and 2 physics subjects, which will later be a foundation for uh, four courses such as engineering mechanics, strength of materials, and after that, the basis is the engineering mechanics and strength of materials. That must be conquered. For that, this is where my expertise as an analytical and technical person uh, should flourish as a student of an engineering degree. My answers in computation shall reflect my communication skills instead of words. Yun yung pananaw ko at age 17. Of course, now it's a different time. Uh, but at that time, yan ang point of view. 
Strength number two, camaraderie. No? Man is a social animal. I have at least five to six close friends who I consider as my brothers as well as a support group at school and many acquaintances who I share a common interest in one form or another. I love all of them. I wish we can be friends for life. So my friends is my strength. All for one, one for all. Sabi nga namin. Ayun. Ah, ano nga rin? So, yun na, no? Hindi ko na pa. Yan yung... Kailangan meron tayong ipopost na minimum of five of each. No? Five strengths, five weaknesses. So, sample ng weakness, no? Magbigay ako sample. Ito na lang. Lack of female students. So, yun sabi ko. So, being in an, in an engineering school poses a different set of obstacles. There are few women in the institute. Maku at that time is not a university, but rather an institution. So, institute ang binanggit na. And the rare, the very rare few women are either lesbians, juicy, studios, or have a boyfriend somewhere else. So, at that time, that's what I feel. No? According to Ban Kim Chandra, Chato Payajai, sakta ulo ng pangalan niya. Woman is the crowning excellence of God's creation, the shadow of the gods. Man is man, the God's creation of me. Woman is like man is shadow. Therefore, I am currently living in the shadow world. Yun yung pananaw ko. No? Weaknesses. Weakness again is step her props. No? Hindi naman sila weakness, kundi weakness ko yan. Iniiwasan ko sila. No? So terror props are the personifications of a nightmare. Releasing of grades is not even transparent, nor will they entertain my queries. Some of them even give a surprise twist. Most of them are not teachers but rather engineers and therefore can be demanding on student effort. Even so, completing all the requirements does not make it certain that I will pass the subject and role. In some cases, students drop like flies even before the periodical test. In reality, this is very true. Our batch, we have 250 students. By the time we finish college, there are only 20 of us. So, ganun kapilis, maubos ang mga tao. So, your yan, weakness, opportunities. So, increasing demand for civil engineers. Philippines GDP growth rate is blah, blah, blah. Flexible schedule. The quarter system, uh, ito muna yung discuss ko. The quarter system, jokingly called by most Mapuans as the quarta system. Yan yung point of view ko ng time yun. This academic system is unique in the Philippines to Mapua. While the pacing may be too fast for some, the structure keeps most students interested in their classes with a fresh start in every 10 weeks. No? So I will rather have five subjects in two months rather than 10 subjects in six months. The agony is not for long. If I do not like the professor, I will not see him again after a few months. One of the possible drawbacks, though, is information overload and retention. Yeah, yun lang naman. So last, ay magpakita yung last na iya. Threats. No? So, discuss ko lang yung threats. Threat number one na lang. Black Valentine event. The proposal to change the name of Mapua Institute of Technology into Malayan College, no time namin, will put the name of the school on the line. This uncertainty might severely affect the current students. No? Kasi the opportunities and threats, as I already told you, is more on the macro. So not just me. Hindi lang ako apektado, kundi lahat ng estudyante and even alumni. Or this way, potential fresh so natural disasters such as type
Okay na. Nawala ako sa dali. Okay na, okay na. Sorry. Patapos na tayo. Konting tisa lang. So, probably delaying my completion of the course. So, threats again. Uh, and yung mga possible threats yung time ko. And here is the personal swap matrix. So, you must have an explanation. Pinakita ko na explanation, pero ito yung dapat na swap matrix. So, minimum of five. Kasi, to be honest, there are a lot. Uh, maraming strengths. Pwede malagay, kwapo ka, mayaman ako. Marami kaming sasakyan. Uh, marami kaming bahay. Actually, yun yung... Pero ang focus mo in this one uh, is more on your on your college education and your five up to 15 year plans. So, minimum of five cores. Minimum of five for each factor. Wag, hanggat maaari, huwag nating pahirapan ang ating sarili. So, that's the breakdown. <clears throat> and that ends the SWOT matrix. So, pakita ko lang ulit. Bago tayo maghiwalay. So, these are the strengths. Nakalist down. Ano man yung mga strength na yan. Weakness, opportunities, and threats. Bonus points, as I already told you, is the toast matrix. Yung pinakita ko kanina. This one. Ito na yun, wala. No? Ito yung bonus points. Kung may mga kaisip nito. Then, bonus points. Huh? But, for me, okay na yung hanggang dito lang. Yun lang naman. Any questions? May nagtatanong yata rito. Huh? Oh, wala. Bago tayo mag-iwalay, Haro, do you have any questions? Yes, Mr. Menjola. Sir, dun po sa ano, pinakita niyo pong presentation, parang paano po namin uh, i-apply po yung dun po sa weaknesses, opportunities, and strengths po? Kasi parang napansin ko lang po dun po sa strengths po is uh, yun nga po na sa personal side niyo po. Pero nung dumating po sa parang sa weakness, opportunities, and threats po, parang napunta po more on dun sa side ng school po rather than yourself. Uh, yes, medyo iba kasi yung scenario, no? Ito yung strengths, ano lang, no? Uh, to be honest, I give, kung ano lang yung maisip ko at that time, kasi ginawa ko siya mga 10 o'clock na ng gabi. Uh, weakness mo, let's say on your own personal rather than the school side, no? Uh, let's say, yun nga, is lack of communication skills. So, medyo, noong time na yun, mahihain ako, no? Tapos, Number two, procrastination. Sa ba yung procrastination? Minsan, tinatamad akong umate ng klase. No? Minado ko noon, noong time na yun. So, yung iba dyan, katulad nyo rin ako. Yung lack of female students, this is yung situation mo ngayon. No? So, let's say, sa situation nyo naman is medyo uh, due to the pandemic. Kulang kami ng pera pang para makapasok sa school na yun. I will choose other schools or uh, my grades are not sufficient enough to make it to enter to the school. Tapos sa terror prop, siguro pwede equivalent nyo. Uh, siguro due to the curriculum, etc. Ano ba nangyari sa ano natin? online classes natin? Um, nahirapan ba kayo nung una? Will that affect your your potential college education? Yun. Yun weakness number five, it's about you. No? Physical and mental. Maraming samples of weakness. Uh, actually, I already posted the sample guide of questions. Pakicheck na lang ulit yung long test sa assignment tab. There is a sample guidelines. 
on how to identify the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yung analytical and technical skills, it's my strength. No, no time na yun. Camaraderie, again, ganun din. So you need to have people who will help you in your struggles. Mahirap kasi yung pag wala kang kaibigan. Yung grit, uh, it's determination. So I consider that as my strength. No? Discipline. Yung school culture, nakapasok na kasi ako. No? So pwede mo sabihin na, uh, ano ba pwede? I am resourceful. No? Or I am a man of faith. No? And the school that I am. It's up to you. The, the possibilities are limitless. Maraming strengths. Maraming kayong strengths, maraming kayong weaknesses di tayo maubusan. So, itong mga nilagay ko are just uh, examples. So, nagdagdag pa ako rito, branding. So, branding not just for you. No? Uh, more on you. No? Kasi kung papasok ka sa school na yun, merong equivalent branding yun. No? And your own personal branding. Na, let's say you are a student of uh, De La Salle University merong impact sa branding mo yun. Ay, ako si Menjola. And I am a student of the La Salle University. Recognize sila ka. Yun yung branding. Anything else? Ay, sir, ako pa. Meron pong isa pa po. Isa, ang tawag din. Yung ano po ba, sir, is uh, sa as applied po siya sa situation po namin yan or uh, assume na po namin na parang college student kami? Uh, kasi magka- magkaedad tayo, no? Pero iba yung situation natin. So, your current situation. So, let's say, ang threats nyo is uncertainty sa educational system. Paano ba talaga kami matututo in the long run kung lahat ng degree sa college ay puro online? Ma- di ba kami may hirap paano requirement ah uh, siguro yun simple Remember, it's a black swan not being able to graduate. Most of you will be able to graduate naman. The question is when. Uh, ano pa pa? Strength. Ano ba yung strength? Yes, yun ngayon. So, oh, 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 yung core value. Okay, I'm back. No? So, try to make it, di ba? Hindi naman kailangan perfect na perfect, pero you know yourself better than I do. Kung sa tingin kong mali yan, I am not entitled to your, to an opinion. I can just give you a suggestion, pero at the end of the day, it's your own story. The SWOT analysis is a snapshot of your life right now. No? Kamusta naman kayo? Ano ka ngayon? Versus what are your plans within 5 years and 15 years? Ano ba yung mga targets mo? And then one day, you will be able to look back and say, Uy, natupad din. Naging CPA ako. Ay, nakapag-abroad ako. Napromote ako. Nakapag-asawa ako. Meron pa akong kabet. Joke. Yun. This will be a reflection. Kagaya ko, I enjoy doing the SWOT analysis because it made me realize. No? Ginawa ko lang siya kagabi, pero I imagine myself no, as in your shoes that I will be doing this SWOT analysis. You, have, you are lucky to be able to do the SWOT analysis at your age. No? I did not start doing the SWOT analysis until I was 31. So, wala akong swap until 31. Sariling tira lang. 
shop lah this one. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Unless you have other questions, I will upload the PowerPoint presentation as well. Okay. So, wala na. Uh, Sino pa pwede mag-lead ng prayer? Miss Barbie, can you lead the closing prayer? Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ah, ako, no? Hindi ko naitan, no? Sir, paano yung order of presentation? No? I think I'll just base it dun sa pindala kong previous picture. Or gusto niyo mag-usap-usap na lang? Sabihan mo na lang ako, Mr. Menjola, kung ano ang preferred, no? Yung previous, yung previous schedule proposed last term sa performance task. Or usap-usap na lang kayo. Kayo na bahala kung paano yung order of representation. Uh, mukha lang siya mahira pero it can be accomplished in one night. Kasi alam niyo yung situation niyo. Kayo nakakaalam niyan. So, I think that's it. Uh, just inform me later, Mr. Mijolana. Thank you, Haro. And yeah, boss, uh, yung social, ano, yung for the QAS, discuss ko next week. Uh, actually, sa kabilang section na discuss ko na siya. No? Baliktad lang yung order. Pero, ayoko na muna kayo bigyan ng information overload. Baka mailagay niyo ako sa weakness. Thank you. Enjoy your lunch. And I'm again. And.